This week on Machinery PTV, planting and tillage equipment on this Central Illinois auction were in A1 condition, but this 1998 John Deere 8300 really set itself apart from the pack. Pete shows us the strong trends on used tractor prices. And this ground-up restoration Alice Chalmers fulfills one collector's dream. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. Now, today folks, I hopped in my pickup and I made my way down to Central Illinois and I'm here to visit one of my all-time favorite auctioneers, Mike Mosky out of Mount Pulaski. We're on site for the farm retirement auction for Brian and Nancy Rage. Now, I'll tell you what, really nice line of farm equipment we're going to watch sell today, including a 98 Deer 8300 tractor with low hours. Now, before we watch that baby sell, we got to go back to the studio and catch up on the very latest in the farm equipment world. Thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. It looks like farmers are feeling better about things financially heading into the new year. That's according to the latest Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer. The survey of farmer sentiment rose seven points from November to a reading of 174 in December, and that can be attributed to a rise in both the index of current conditions and the index of future expectations. Now, the Farm Capital Investment Index, it rose to a record high. Now, when asked about farm machinery purchases, the percentage of farmers expecting to increase their machinery purchases in the upcoming year rose to 15%, while the percentage expecting to reduce purchases fell by about the same amount, 5%. Farmers in December were more inclined to think now is a good time to make large investments in their farming operation as the Farm and Capital Investment Index rose to a reading of 93. That's a jump of 13 points compared to what it was in November and of course is dramatically higher than the Farm Capital Investment Index was back last spring. Take a look at this new graphic from USDA. Over the last quarter century, the U.S has become one of the largest agricultural importers in the world. Imports have grown from $27 billion in 1994 to $128 billion in 2019, much of it driven by NAFTA. The volume of imports has risen across all commodities, but things like fresh fruits and vegetables, beef products, and wine and beer have led the increase. Now let's look at some recent auction prices from around the country. Now back to Machinery Pete. Hey, stay with us folks. Coming up, it's gonna be planter time. We got this John Deere 1770 NT 16 row 30 inch. Owner Brian Rage bought this thing brand new. Hey folks, I'm here with auctioneer Mike Mosky, Mosky Auction Service, and Mike, we got a beautiful planter here. Why don't you tell us about it? I tell you what, this planter is set up ready to go. It's set up like you want it. Um, you know, it's... Uh, uh, it's 16 row 30 inch, right? 16, 30 inch. Okay. And, uh, you know, these planters, this, the, this is my biggest challenge, um, uh, and not the planters, but the technology that we are going through right now all these changes and, and trying to keep up. It's hard enough to keep up with your cell phone, but you know, when you see all the different uh, uh, 
options for guidance and and, uh, right. and these little monitors, this 2630 monitor that we've got in the tractors, you know, it it, it will do anything, and it it's integrated with your planter or your sprayer, or and and uh, that is my biggest challenge right now when somebody comes up and says, well, you have. Uh, 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 you know, you have the option on the planter to shut off uh, three rows at a time or four rows at right. a time, and 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 I know that expensive seed corn uh, uh, makes a difference. But now this baby, Brian bought this new, correct? He bought it new, and yeah. it's it's roughly how old? Oh, I think it's seven seasons old, and and uh, it's specced perfect for perfect. what guys here in Central Illinois are wanting. That's right? exactly right. That's okay. exactly right. All right, folks, it's time to focus on tillage. We've got a really nice mulch finisher today. Mike, the 726 deer, this thing is what, 27 foot? 27 foot, you know, it's an ideal for a two wheel drive tractor, a large frame two wheel drive tractor or, or a front wheel assist. And there are a lot of, in, in this area, there are a lot of uh, sub 30 foot finishers around and uh, good quality selling, good five bar spike harrow on it. And, uh, um, you know, uh, in this black, mucky, thick ground, you know, we need everything we can, especially with all the residue right. we've got anymore. Right. And I, I've noticed that high 20 foot range, low 30 foot seems to be pretty popular. Um, do you think there tends to be more buyers at, at that size versus the larger ones or, or not? I think so. I think in, in, uh, in, this, in this time, uh, you know, we have smaller front wheel assist, uh, and uh, uh, I think the average farmer uh, does not want to have a, a, a huge 40-foot a finisher or anything like that, 30-foot sure. finisher like that, and uh, um, sink a lot of money in it because, I mean, right. there's thousands of dollars in that. And, uh, but these guys have, uh, with these 30-footers, uh, they're pretty popular mm -hmm. and, and for right now, and uh, we, uh, we can sell them well. Now, 15, 14 foot. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Machinery PTV is brought to you by Bear Plus Rewards, helping make every part of your season more rewarding. Visit mybearplus.com to learn more. Your next piece of equipment is on machinerypeat.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on machinerypeat.com.
Well folks, a lot of chatter lately about how strong auction prices have been on good condition used tractors. And if you're wondering if those strong prices held through the year end, the answer is yes. Now let me take you back to last Tuesday, December 29th, a pair of auctions, one in Iowa, one in Ohio, to prove the point. First, let's go to Northeast Iowa, an online farm retirement auction by our friends at Sullivan Auctioneers. They sold this 2013 John Deere 8335R, 1,873 hours on it for $195,000. Now that's the second highest auction price on an 8335R in 22 months. Same sale also had this 2011 John Deere 8260R. With 2,321 hours on it, this baby went for $158,000, highest auction price on an 8260R in 13 months. Now that same day last Tuesday, over in Northwest Ohio on a consignment auction by my friend Aaron Siefker, this John Deere 4240, 4,979 hours on it, quad range, sold for $28,000. Now for perspective, current average auction price this year on a 4240, $15,386, so they almost got twice, twice the average on that uh, 4240. Same sale had this 1990 Agco Alice 9190, beautiful condition, 5,330 hours on it, went for $26,500, highest auction price on an Agco Alice 9190 in just over six years. And let's wrap up with this 1981 International 1086, 4,697 hours on it with a reman engine, so for $20,000, and again, for perspective, current average auction price on a 1086, $8,792. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week we're heading to northern Indiana and we're going to check out a very unique Alice Chalmers. This tractor was completely restored from the ground up. Owner Brian Bungie had a little help, but it was a project that was worth its weight in gold. It's an Alice Chalmers 2035E, they call them E's. 20 stands for the draw bar, 35 for the belt horsepower. There was one on the cover of Antique Power and I always loved it. Didn't think I'd ever be able to get one. And uh, this one became available and several tractor collectors turned it down because it was in such bad shape. There's long fender 2035s and a short fender. And this is a long fender and there's not a lot of these around. Then Alice Chalmers, which they built these in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, shortened the fenders and painted the wheels all one color to cheapen the cost. This became available and then I took it completely apart and took it to Manaway, Ohio to Larry Litsu, Litsu, who they call the tra tractor guru. I had rubber tires on the front and didn't have a carburetor and every piece had to be dismantled. There wasn't a screw or a bolt that wasn't taken out and rebuilt. It had a bent rod, all the valves were shot. Um, sheet metal was all redone. Oh, I loved it. I loved it, especially when you start painting it. And yeah, it's, it's fun putting it together. Cleaning parts and rebuilding takes time, and that's the, probably the worst part. It was used on sawmills. Uh, cities and uh, counties use it for grading roads, uh, a plowing tractor, planting, thrashing. It's big on thrashing. Actually, this is, this is a model called the, like a Thrasherman Special because it's, it's got the whistle on out of the exhaust, and it's not a real loud whistle because the RPM's down, but it signaled to the guy on the thrasher, you know, or to speed up or slow down and things like that. Hey, don't touch that dial, folks. I'm serious. Don't touch it. Coming up, we got our feature item on the show today, a 98 model John Deere 8300, 4,450 hours. So far this year, average auction price on 8300, up 11.2%. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. All right, folks, time for our feature item on the show today, a beautiful 1998 John Deere 8300 tractor, 4,450 hours on it, here with owner Brian Rage. Brian, you are the second, second owner? Second owner, yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, not that many hours, a good looking shape. How did you use it over the years? Well, um, I, uh, that was my planter tractor, 
and uh, basically all that's all I did with it uh, for a number of years. Okay. And uh, I did after I bought it, uh, I paid to have RTK system put in. That was nice. thirty grand. Wow. When I by the time you get the monitor and the globe. And, and when was that roughly? Uh, two thousand and. 11 maybe okay. something like that okay. maybe it maybe it's older than that I don't know but anyway that was a pricey thing to do and what uh, planner were you pulling with this thing? Uh, 16 uh, 1770 NT okay. 16 rail this one over here okay so describe how you've enjoyed the tractor over the years. it's just a I mean they're a good solid tractors easy you know the shifting is all easy yep. and, and uh, controls are easy and uh, and then with the RTK, you know, you push the button away, you go. Right. And, uh, so it's it's just been a very no problem tractor. You know. Now, Brian, I'm, you correct me if I'm wrong here, but I, I'm looking at your sale bill and I saw this 8300 with the hours, second owner. I'm guessing you got quite a bit of interest in this thing. Oh yeah, based on Had what I've seen. A lot of seen. interest, and and with the uh, guidance in it, you know that uh, right, pretty rare. Right. And uh, so. Uh, We'll see what happens, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a very good tractor. You know, none of my tractors ever been split or engine over. You know, right. uh, never got them hot, that type of thing. The calls have they been mostly Illinois calls or kind of all? No, over they've been or? all over. Been Missouri. Okay. And, uh, mostly uh, nothing. Can't remember anything from Indiana, but a lot of Missouri and Iowa. Well, and you Illinois. know your auctioneer, Mike Mosky. Uh, he pulls them in from all over, mm -hmm. so he, he brings a lot of buyers. So I'm sure that you'll yeah we'll have a lot of interest in this yeah. thing. Yeah. 75, 76, 876. Did you say yes? Now 77, 77. Uh, right there, we're gonna get a 77 popper. 77, 78, uh, 78. Right there, we're gonna get a 78 five. 78 right there, 77 five then. 77 five. We're gonna get a 77 five. 77 bit, 77 five. 77 bit right there, 77 five. It's 77 bit right there. We're gonna get a 77 five. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the good, good, clean little lady. 300, 77 five. 77 bit now, 77 five. 77 internet now. We're gonna get a 77 five. 77 five I have. Sold at 77 thousand. Now, Brian, I've met a lot of collectors yeah. over the years, tractors, farm yeah. machinery and yeah. stuff. But as we visited a little bit, you are a unique collector. I'm looking at your hat here. You collect yeah. arrowheads. I do. Uh, people ask, well, how'd you get started? I, I've liked them ever since I can remember. It was my great-grandfather uh, had a frame of arrowheads they had found on their farm. Okay. It wasn't a lot of them, but just a little kid looking up at those arrowheads, I've just always liked them. Wow. And uh, every now and then he'd send a broken half home with me, and I was yeah. just rich. I'd carry that around the house, and I was rich. I got, you know, look at that. And uh, so I've always liked them, and, okay. and uh, so that hobby is, has just grown over the years. And, and there are, like anything else, there's arrowhead shows, there's, mm -hmm. there's auctions, there's... Uh, uh, a collector community. And so you've just grown up, it's been a part of your life, yeah. your whole life. Yeah. Now yeah. you mentioned an ax before, and Brian, we were visiting. Is it legit to say you have one of the more rare it, uh, it is relic one, axes? One of, one of the more rare ones, yeah. And, and you uh, think it might be worth as much as one of these John Deere tractors? Yeah. yeah. Wow. But it's, don't everybody get excited. <laughs> a typical ax. Yeah. Uh, what we would call field grade is 50 bucks. Okay. And this one's 50,000 above. Wow. And it's just uh, the rarity, the size, the poly. There's so many How things. How old do you think it is? About 5,000. 5,000 years old? Yeah. Wow. Well, folks, I hope you had fun today dropping in with me on the online farm retirement auction for Brian and Nancy Rage in central Illinois. And how about that feature item on the sale? The 98 John Deere 8300 tractor, 4,450 hours on it, selling for 77,000 bucks. Folks, that was the second highest auction price all of 2020 on a John Deere 8300, which of course now is 20 to 25 years old. But actually the average auction price last year up 17.5% shows the strong buyer demand on these nice condition older tractors. Now tune in next week, folks. We'll have some more great equipment sale price data, and stories to share with you here on Machinery Pete TV. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. 
Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com.